Let's look at a brand new feature in MoTT. This is like magic for keeping your sub and airy high frequencies intact when you're using MoTT. So let's say I'm working with this drum loop and I wanna make sure I keep those sub frequencies nice and big. Take a listen. So I'm killing a little bit of the sub from the kick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this frequency up and now this means that MoTT is not gonna process anything below this frequency. Now, if you're listening on good headphones or studio monitors, you're hearing all of those sub frequencies come right back in from the kick when I pull the frequency up. And I can even adjust the level of those sub frequencies. This gives me complete control of the subs. But I also have great control over the high frequencies. Let's say I've got this vocal chop and I want to add Mo TT to add some excitement. You said you wanted my love. I'm really liking what this is doing, but I want to make sure that the sibilance doesn't get too harsh with MoTT. So I can simply pull this high frequency down below where the sibilance would be happening. You said you wanted my love again. You said you wanted my love. You said you wanted my love again. You promised the summer in love. It still gives me all that hype sound that I'm looking for out of MoTT, but without the added hiss in the high frequencies. So these are great tools for controlling how much sub and high airy frequencies are processed by MoTT.